the person. But just know that God can, can use anybody he, he chooses. Our Savior, by, by teaching one poor woman, spreading knowledge to a whole town. Us, by, by teaching to one poor soul, we can spread knowledge to an entire family, to an entire community, to an entire neighborhood, just by speaking to one. Yes, sir. Never underestimate the power of war. Right. Uh, blessed are those who are, who are not offended at Christ. Those taught of God are, are truly desirous to learn. Uh, First Peter 2 and 2 says, As newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word, mm -hmm. that ye may grow thereby. Yes. It adds much to the praise of our love to Christ and his word if it conquers prejudice. But here that their faith, it grew. As should our faith. Our faith should not be stagnant, but our faith should grow. Right. In a matter of it, they, they believed him to be the Savior, not only of the Jews, but of the whole world. Preach. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world yeah. that he gave his only begotten Son, so that whoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Yes. Yeah. Jesus is the Savior of the entire world. And in the certainty of it, we know that this is indeed the Christ. the Christ. And in the ground of it, for we have heard him ourselves. We've been hearing Jesus by way of others for too long. Many folk have been hearing Jesus by way of, of, of mama and daddy, by way of big mama and, and, and mother dear. <laughs> Preach. And we need to get to a place that where people hear Jesus for themselves Preach. and not from anyone else. I'll tell somebody, I, I want to hear Jesus for myself. Yeah. I want to hear what you say. He said, I want to hear it for my, <laughs> myself. Yes, sir. The food about which uh, 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 Jesus was speaking was his spiritual nourishment. It includes more than Bible study, more than prayer, and more than uh, attending church. But spiritual nourishment also comes from doing God's will and helping to bring his work of salvation to completion. There's fulfillment, there's gratification, there's, there's satisfaction in doing God's will. We are nourished not only by, by what we take in, but also by what we give out yeah. for God. Yeah. In, in chapter 17, verse 4, Jesus is referring to completing God's work on earth. Sometimes Christians, we, we, we excuse, uh, Christians excuse themselves from, from witnessing by, by saying that our family or our friends, they're not ready to believe. They're not ready to change. They're not ready to, to get saved. But who are we to say who's ready and who's not ready? Yes. Who are we to say uh, uh, when someone is ready? Yes. Well, our job is to plant and, and to water seeds that have already been planted in allow God to, to give the increase. Preach. And that increase will come in God's timing in his season, not ours. Right. Jesus, however, he makes it clear that around us a, a, a continual harvest waits to be reaped. We can't let Jesus find us making excuses. <laughs> and we, we, we look around and we'll find people ready to hear God's word. Yeah. We got work, more work than we have willing workers. There's more people out there who need to hear God's word than people who know God's word. Yeah. Uh, the Christian job market is, is booming right now. <laughs> uh, Matthew 9, it says, it, it said he unto his disciples, the harvest is truly plenteous, yeah. but the laborers are few. Yeah. Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest that he will send forth laborers into his harvest. Yeah. Wages that Jesus offers are the joy of working for him and seeing the harvest of believers. These wages, they come to the sower and the reaper alike because both find joy in seeing new believers come into Christ's kingdom. Luke 15 says, likewise, I say unto you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner that repented. Uh, when one comes down, even the angels in heaven rejoice over the one soul. And as should we over one, we should find joy in, in believers coming into the kingdom of God. 
the praise, the phrase others have, have labored may refer to the Old Testament prophets and to John the Baptist who had paved the way for the gospel. And many of us are here today because some of our, our forefathers Preach. and mothers paved the way of the gospel uh, for us. Preach. Samaritan woman, she immediately shared her experience with others. Uh, she, did, she didn't wait an extended period of time when, when the memory had faded and the excitement had, had withered away. When God performs a miracle in your life, we should not wait 5, 10, 15, 20 years to, to want to tell others, preach your miracle. Preach. When God performs a miracle in your life, you should immediately go and tell folk all about what God has, has done for you. Yeah. Despite her reputation, many took her invitation and they came out to meet Jesus. And perhaps there are sins in our past of which we're, we're ashamed, but, but, but Christ, he changes us. My Lord. Second Corinthians 5 and 17, therefore, if, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away, behold, all things are become new. Yeah. And as we see these changes, they, 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 they become curious. Uh, we, we've got to, to use these opportunities to introduce them to Christ. Uh, when God makes a change in your life, folks are going to want to know the hows, the whys, the who. <laughs> yeah. When they ask who, you tell them Jesus. Pray. When they ask how, you tell them Jesus. When they ask why, you tell them Jesus. And one of the, uh, 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 of the central themes of this text here is evangelism. Uh, the Spartan, the, the Samaritan woman in our text, she, she had an encounter with Jesus. Uh, and when we come to church each and every week, we too should have an encounter with Jesus. Encounters are life changing. Encounters are, are impactful on our lives. And this woman, she was so enthusiastic about the fact that this man was able to tell her things about herself that, that nobody else knew. Uh, her excitement and drove her back to her community <laughs> to share her testimony. Uh, I don't care who you are, but I want you to know that we all have a past. Uh, and one of us in here are perfect, but, but, but we all have a past. And my Bible tells me that all have sinned and Pray. fallen short of his glory. Yeah. Yeah. But one of the problems are that we have allowed the enemy to use shame uh, to keep us from talking. Uh, uh, too many people are ashamed of their past. Uh, and because of the shame, we don't want to tell nobody what God has brought us from. Uh, we don't want nobody to know where God has taken us through. Uh, we don't want no one to know about the journey that we've been on into what we used to be into who we are now. Uh, but can I tell you, you should never be a 